Hey, it's Mark Reynolds again from Breeze Automotive. Just wanted to spend a few minutes now and tell you about how we did our windshield wiper installation. It's a little harder than, than it looks. Um, chief issue with this is probably getting the wiper motor mounted in a rigid enough fashion that it won't self-destruct in use. So here is your uh, wiper motor here. And what we've done is used our Breeze uh, EFI fuel filter bracket down here to give us a solid mounting arrangement, a solid mounting pad, and that clamps onto the uh, wiper motor with a, with a nice Breeze Industrial Products hose clamp. We cut a piece of uh, gasket rubber uh, to wrap around the, the motor and give it a good, give that clamp a real good grip on it. We installed it once with a wood riser block to get our motor away from the firewall a little bit so it would line up with uh, the holes in the body. Uh, that end up ended up just being too too wobbly. It would twist this way because of the slippage and twist of the bolts that we threw bolted and uh, it would slip and slide and, and, and the aluminum panel wasn't stiff enough here to hold it. So after some head scratching we came up with this arrangement. We found some aluminum tubing in our shop and we want it, we use that aluminum tubing to link the mount of the wiper motor all the way over to the steel frame here in this corner. So two pieces of aluminum tubing uh, trimmed, then we drilled and tapped for some 5 16 bolts and tapped right into the steel frame to link us to, this, to the factory 5 chassis and then we riveted the uh, EFI fuel filter bracket to the steel tubing and then the steel tubing is in turn riveted to the aluminum on this side here. So it gives us a pretty rigid mounting uh, fairly easy to do once you figure it out and it gives it extremely rigid in this direction which is what's going to happen when the wiper motor starts to push and pull on that drive cable. Just to finish out the wiper installation uh, we bought a plug here from I think it was uh, Cobra Accessories finish line um, to hook the wiper up officially and use the park feature. Uh, our wire comes through the firewall here across and down to our wiper switch on the front of the dash which is a two-speed switch with park feature and that's also from finish line. Uh, something, another, some things that people don't know about the wipers is that you have to have this tube nut here and this tubing which I think is 5 16 brake line and you you make tubes to run the rack in the flexible rack or cable and you flare the ends and when you flare the end you can you can really solidly attach that tube to the wiper motor and then your your other flared ends are uh, ending up right here in these little gaps in the wheel boxes and then you go from the wiper motor to the first wheel box from the first wheel box to the second wheel box and we even added a little piece of tubing out here just to enclose the end of the cable which is oscillating back and forth flipping this over to get this attached to the body, I think Factory 5 supplies a rubber piece of hose here, cut at maybe a 40 degree angle, to match the angle of the uh, outside chrome bezel piece. And we found that the rubber just squished up and it made the bezel rock up and not really sit flush and flat. So we took some black anodized aluminum tubing, again, that we had in the shop and cut that. So we replaced the rubber uh, spacer tube here with a piece of aluminum tubing cut off at an angle to match the angle of the, the outside parts. That's pretty much the wiper installation. They're not really that functional, um, but it helps to get through inspection and helps make the car a complete car, and they'll help in a, in a mist. Thanks for listening.